Well, hello, welcome to the channel and thanks for joining me. So we've got an unboxing video today and I'm guessing from the uh, the size of this beastie that it is some sort of um, radio cassette player. So let's have a look. Some sort of broken boom box, which we get plenty of on this channel. So just carefully, carefully cut the tape and find our way in. Okay, well, it looks like it's been fairly well packaged, so. Right. Figure of eight cable, that's always useful to have. We do loads of um, boom boxes on this channel, so the more the merrier. And I think that's it for the packaging, so I'm just gonna move the box out of the way. And here we have the Panasonic RX5025 LE. So a fairly old beastie from the uh, 1980s, this one. And um, yeah, quite a quirky looking thing. Not too many of these about, so it's nice to, um, to try and get them in and save them if we can. Hasn't got anything too fancy on here. You have got the tape counter and you've got a kind of VU meter, like a level gauge in lights, LEDs across the top also is capable of playing metal tapes and you will see you've got your normal chrome and uh, metal tape selector there you'll see you've got some beautiful dappled autumnal or winter sunlight coming through so the lighting's all over the place but never mind you've got a four band medium wave long wave fm and short wave radio selector switch on the end a simple um, tone control there which is just a single tone eq volume there again this isn't a split volume, it's just a master volume, and then you've got your left and right balance. How they always end up, I'm not quite sure how people end up with the balance control right over to one side, but there you go. That makes you wonder why people get rid of things sometimes. Perhaps they sound awful because the settings are bad. But there we go. So um, let's just, okay, well the eject, the soft eject works. Oh, there's a free tape in there as well. So we'll look at that later. And um, yeah, so there we go. You've got the master tuning dial on the side with a fine tuner as well. And um, generally, it just needs a bit of a clean. It's a bit grubby. Uh, I don't know if it works or not, actually. So um, we'll have to find out whether or not it even works. So I'll be plugging this in soon to test the radio and the tape functions. We'll give it a bit of a restoration, a bit of a deep clean, get the switches all cleaned, replace the belts and any idlers or anything like that, and just have a bit of fun with it. Um, as I say, it'd be quite nice just to see what the inside of one of these looks like. We've not had one of these particular models on the channel before. So please do subscribe, hit the notifications bell for updates, and I'll be back soon. All the best for now. Bye-bye.